good. How's that? Good bro. Is that good? Good job. Thank you. All this for me, Matt? You shouldn't have. <laughs> hey, Mike. The comedian has arrived. Yeah. Hey, you guys think Grace is going to like all this stuff? Oh, she'll yes. love it. Absolutely. It's very sweet of you, Matt. Sweet. Ooh. Don't let that get around. So, how's Frank? Feisty. You know, he kicked me out to go have some fun. He got rid of you? Man must be sick. Oh, actually, he's very lucky. He must have a guardian angel or something. Yeah. Well, let me take yeah. a couple. Hey, Scott. Hey. Oh, it's good to see you. Hey, man. Thank you. Listen, thank you for the invitation. I feel like I've been in the social swampland. <laughs> Listen, after saving our lives, you are welcome anywhere I am for a long time to come. Anytime. Anytime. Now, do you remember my lovely little daughter here? How Gina? could I forget such a sweet young lady? <laughs> How are you? I met you at your daddy's New Year's Eve party, remember? I remember. Hmm. Daddy, can I help with those balloons? Yes, you can, but don't suck in the helium. <laughs> here, take that one. Oh, thank Go you. find a string for it. Okay, Matt, what can I do to help? Well, you could uh, you could go up that tall ladder and um, and hang that banner. Eat your heart out. Oh. There you go. Careful, please. Got it? Yeah. Sometimes go. it's great to be alive. Uh, there we go. Look, I gotta get a move on. Um, Grace is expecting me to pick her up. Ah, uh, well, what, uh... Is your story to Grace? Well, I'm telling her we're going out to dinner, and then I forget my credit card and I have to come back home to get it. How's that? Okay. Uh, that sounds pretty good, except um, what if she meets you at the door in lingerie and a bottle of champagne? Hmm. Well, in that case, you're going to have to start with that. <laughs> Hi, Fazzo. Hey, hey, Matt. I'm early, but uh, see you already? Um, yeah. Oh. What is all this? Surprise! Surprise! Lungs sound good. What about his heart? No murmurs. No gallops. BP? Not 90 over 62. It's low for him. May I care for my patient, please, doctor? Blood test shows your liver and kidney function is just about normal. I may have an ache or two from the surgery, but I sure don't feel like I fell off a building. I, I am ready to hit Grace's surprise party. Nothing doing. You're nowhere near ready to be released. I'm as good as new. You even had me moved out of ICU. Excuse me, you nearly died. In comparison to that, you're doing terrific. But you need to get back in bed. You're nowhere near recovery. Stay in bed. You heard the man. OK. Can't fight both of you. I'll be back to check on you. Thanks. I wonder what's in the closet. You oh, said Frank, what are you doing? Uh -huh. I am getting dressed. I show up like this, the so women will be all over no, me. No, you're not going to that party. You and what arm are you going to stop? Me? I will get the meanest nurses you've ever seen to tie you down to this bed. Well, that doesn't sound like an all-around bad evening. But uh, I think I'd rather be with you. Frank, be reasonable. I am. Getting out will release a flood of healing endorphins into my system. Fine, fine. But you stay close to me so I can keep an eye on you. And we only stay for a while. We'll see about that. And no dancing. Oh, come on. Just one slow one. Don't blame me if you end up flat on your butt. So I can't believe that you blew my big surprise there, Grace. Oh, are you pouting? I'm a surprise, just mm. uh, not as surprised as you. <laughs> True. Um, listen, seriously, I want to thank you. No one has ever done this for me before. My very favorite author. Well, hello, Eve. You know, hello. your favorite author thinks you look just stunning tonight. Oh, as stunning as Bev Lambeth looked at the nurse's ball. I'd say just as obvious. <laughs> hey! Hey! Oh, you look 
Judy, Judy, let me look at you. Wait a minute. Look at this. Matching shoes to the T-shirt. You are looking good. <laughs> <laughs> I picked it out all on myself. And I didn't even use the color chart you gave me. You didn't use it? Then you are learning. Do you know you have got to be the most stylish child in all of Port Charles? I know it. <laughs> hey, Kevin. Hmm. I heard Daddy say that you wrote a book and you put all your friends in it. Am I in it? No, I'm afraid it's a grown-up book. Can I read it when I grow up? Of course you can read it when you grow up. And I promise I'll put you in the next one, okay? Cool. Cool. <laughs> I, uh, want to keep my eye on Frank. If you don't mind, Grace, I'm going to cut out early and head to his room. Or we make out in the corner? Frank? Yeah, I guess my invitation got lost in the mail, huh? What are you doing here? Look, I'm not dancing. My, uh, my doctor won't let me, but anything else will. Up to you. you shouldn't be out of bed. You're crazy. No, I'm Frank. Please move. Uh, as long as you don't cough up a lung or anything, you'll spoil the party, okay? Speaking of party, happy birthday, Grace, you Thank babe, you. you. Come here. <laughs> Let me get this straight, okay, real quick. You bought a building, right? And then you built a lab, and now you put that person over there in charge? Well, you see, Karen's got to finish her research and she can't be there all the time. Okay, I'll tell you what. If she is blackmailing you, you just tell me I can help you. I'm good at that stuff. You know I am. I'm very good at it. When can I go see it? <laughs> hey, you know <laughs> what? You can see it very soon because we're going to put in a daycare and also you can play with Karen's ferret. Hey, what happened to the gym? Oh, I changed my mind. You know what? I, I, I think maybe a dance studio would be better. Oh, can I take ballet, please? Well, maybe we can fit that in between your summer sailing classes and your jujitsu classes. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I have a great designer that I was going to use to redo all the Jack's offices until that disaster with Rex happened, so you could use him. Why redecorate? Why don't you move into the Baldwin building? And they mix so well, you know, a medical laboratory and a cosmetics company. Well, she could set up her own lab there. Fabulous. I could have my own lab, and I could make all new offices for... That won't work. I don't, I don't have the capital. You know, I'm doing everything I can just to keep Jack the flow with the money that I got from Rex. Darn it. Come on, come on, come on. I got the yellow suit. I got the blue suit. I got the <laughs> earring. Let's get back in the perfume business, huh, partner? Sounds great. Can I hang my own shingle there at the uh, Baldwin building? Dr. Collins, you naughty thing, you. Hi. Uh... Nice to see you again. I was just telling Grace your book had me on the edge of my seat. I couldn't put it down. Oh, thank you. Thank you very much. And you already know what my favorite part was. Oh, I couldn't begin to guess. The part about me, you silly. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, you silly. And that was? I've never seen that woman before in my life. Hmm. I swear. Your brother is a machine. No, my brother is a pig-headed Irishman. Yeah, well, that sounds familiar. Well, you saying that I'm stubborn? Oh, no, no. Oh, wait a second. You are the one that stays in the lab until you get the results that you want. You know, we haven't had much time to get over me, have we? No, no, we haven't, but thank you for noticing. I think we should remedy that, don't you? What are you doing after the party tonight? I'm certainly not laying in your bed with that ferret. Ferret? Didn't you know he's stuck at the laboratory? You're the only wild animal I want in my bed. Well, in that case, get over here. Oh. <laughs> well, it's good to see you up and around again. How are you feeling? I am just getting warmed up. Well, don't overdo it. At least try <clears throat> to take it easy. I'll see you later. OK. You know what? I think I can manage one slow dance. Come on, let's give it a shot. No, Frank. <clears throat> Frank. No, I, no I, I'm okay. I'm, I'm just a little dizzy. No, sit down. Sit down and breathe deep. What is going on? I don't know. She's uh, dizzy and starting to sweat. Frank, your blood pressure was already low. Come on, it's time to get back to the hospital. No, don't be a wet blanket. Just let me catch my breath. I'll be fine. Frank, listen to me. I mean it, all right? You just had major surgery. I let you get your endorphins. Now we are going. Okay, Joe. I'll let you lead the way for once. 